Have you ever wondered how to record these awesome cinematics? If so, this is the right video for you. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is just open those two links in description. They will lead you to Replay Mode website and Minecraft Forge website. First you need to download Forge and you need to choose the version you want it for. I suggest 1.8 or above because you can't install Replay Mode for 1.7 or any other of this. So I will select 1.8 because I like it more than this, this ones. Okay, then you click installer. Focus is a revolutionary new uh, it will lead you to this advertise website. You need to wait for five seconds, then you can skip it. And here you go, the first download. Just keep, keep. Okay. So the second website is replay mode. Now go down all the way to stable releases, Minecraft 1.8, and you can download this one, but I will make tutorial with this one because I already <laughs> have it installed actually. Okay, just click download. Okay, the same procedure, 5 seconds. Okay, skip advertise, here you go, another download. Okay. Now you just set it like this and drag these two files on the desktop. Why is it loading? Come on. Well, I will skip this. Okay, got it. I don't know what's wrong. It's really weird, but who cares? Okay. The next step you wanna do is just double click on the forge. This window will appear and you just click OK. It will install it and here you go, congratulations, you have Forge. The next thing you wanna do is put this replay mode into the Forge. How to do it? Watch. Uh, you just type, you just go here, oh sorry, <laughs> you just go here as run or you can go also here and just click here and type a, a percent app data percent. Percent. Here we go and just click enter. Choose that Minecraft. Find modes. If you don't have this folder, make one. You don't know the same. This. Okay. I can't create it because I already have it. So, double click on mods and just drag this one here. And you can close it. Now I just open Minecraft, edit profile and you need to find your Forge version, it's right here, and save profile, click play and this is it. When this appears don't really worry about it, you can register and log in or you can just skip it, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Now I'll teach you how to use it. Basically, when you join a world, it automatically starts to record. So let's make a world. You can also join a server, doesn't matter. Just create a world, join it, and it's loading <laughs> so slow. Okay, so we're here. Uh, we can do whatever we want, just jump around. I can click, destroy some blocks, build a tower, really doesn't matter, but everything you do it's recorded, like this. Okay, um, that's it, you just exit the world and you have a replay. Now what's about with that replay? You need to click on replay viewer, it brings you to this storage of all the replays you have. I have so many of them, oh man, look at this. Okay, basically uh, the newest one appear at the top. You just click on it, click on it and click load. You can see this replay and you just move with regular movement keys. Move around, the space is for going up and the shift for the going down, you know that from 
Minecraft game mode one, right? So if you click T on the keyboard, you can control this track. If you click T again, you can control uh, m movement again, right? So this is the timeline. You can see uh, while the replay is playing, it's going forward. By clicking this button, you can just pause it and unpause it. Uh, you can adjust speed, make it faster, slower. Um, by clicking on the timeline, you can jump in time like this or like backwards. But w when you click backwards, it just takes much more time to load. So how do I record cinematics like this? Well, it's actually really easy, but it can be a bit harder to understand at the beginning. You have this second timeline, which is for making videos. This one is for just looking the replay and this is for a video, right? You have position keyframes and time keyframes. For At the beginning, let's just forget for time keyframes and just set two time keyframes for the whole timeline. So I, I can explain position keyframes. Basically, you just choose posi position whichever you want, I don't know, right here, with pigs, I guess. And you just uh, put this at the beginning and click position keyframe. Then you go to the second position, like this pig right here, or in the air. And for example, if you want your cinematic to be five, uh, five seconds long, you just set it here and click second position keyframe. So uh, uh, here is the keyframe the first keyframe and here's the second keyframe and it's play going from this keyframe to this keyframe check it out see it's just traveling and the same is with these time keyframes um, here's this time uh, it started right here I can make it if currently the time is stopped you know nothing happens but I can set, for example, play, uh, let's place uh, the time, you can see, okay, and now I'll set time keyframe and you will see that pigs will just move because, can you see him moving, right, right, because there's the time. And you can also set more keyframes, of course, for example, let's make another one right here, okay. Just add it. And by the way, um, time keyframes must be from the first keyframe, uh, the first position keyframe to the last one, because at the, uh, this video <laughs> plays just from the first time keyframe to the second time keyframe. Of course, you can add more of time keyframes, but you know. Okay, let's play this. See how is everything just playing? The point is, every time frame or position keyframe um, you set is at that position you're in right now, or at that time you're right now. If I'm right here, and if I set position, uh, let's delete this. Okay, if I set uh, position keyframe right here it's gonna be right here and the second one is gonna be here it's gonna be here right and it's going from here to here okay I think you get it right so the same is with time the t current time set it and you can play it a little bit and the second time here and it will play from this point to this point. Here, right? Okay, so let's get to the extra features. You can turn camera, like this. Um, you have to set the, the controls. 
Wait, where? Oh, of course, controls. Sorry. Um, controls and. Um, here. You have raw somewhere. Where is it? Where's raw? Oh, I didn't see it. Sorry. Okay, I have L and I have J. And I have uh, K for a, a reset. From uh, with J, I can move with like this, with L like this, and when I want to reset it, like this. And it works the same as before. Look at this. Let me delete this. Okay, so for example, the first point uh, should be like this, from this angle. I just set it and the time, right? The second position, I want it to be like this but little bit here and I set it again and it will travel from from this position to this position right look at it it's really simple actually just little bit practice and you will understand it some extra features with Z you can adjust adjust the uh, lighting here like this um, with H you can see the path preview and you can see the uh, position the frames and where will it go right and if I play it right now look at this it's going like this smooth right but sometimes by accident if you click O on the keyboard look what happens it goes like this and watch now. See, you don't want cinematics like this. So, in case this happens, just click O and it will be fixed, right? Now the last step, how to render this. You could uh, use your, uh, your recorder software and just click F1 and play it, right? But the best way to do it is just to click render camera pad now you select the quality I suggest the standard one video frame rate let's say 60 right. format and just select the output position you know output file this PC desk let's render it on desktop save and render something collect okay okay good okay now it's rendering right um, you can show preview if you click here okay um, it's really like I don't know why you can click and show preview but it will uh, make it much slower so I suggest not doing that okay uh, open video folder good but I have it on desktop right here and if we play it our first micro cinematics great right now you can do it by yourself awesome so I hope this video helped you, leave a like if you did, you can maybe even subscribe if you like my channel, it helps a lot, thanks.